Okay, so today we are going to play a little game to review for our test that we have tomorrow. Remember, it's a review over chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. On your board for this one, I just want you guys to write the original problem. Before we do that, there's a couple reminders, okay? Notebook check is going to be on Thursday. Remember, for the notebook check, you also need to have your calculator, okay? That's the only supply I will be checking. And then we do have our pie party coming up on Friday. Okay, problem number one. Just write what the correct answer is. Find the product or quotient. All right, so for this first one, 16 divided by negative 4. You guys did excellent, okay? We had one negative there, so the answer has to be negative, and the final answer was negative 4. All right, so for number 2, you guys are going to go ahead and simplify this expression. Remember to circle and underline your like terms. All right, so for those of you, as you underlined and circled, you circled the constants, the numbers that stand alone, and then you underlined the like terms, 2x minus 4x. Think about it. Same sign or different sign, class? Same. Different sign. Different sign. So you have to subtract them, 4 minus 2 is 2, and take the sign of the larger number. If yours doesn't look like this, I want you to erase your board and fix it. And then we are combining that 2 and that 4 so we have plus 6. Okay, for the next one, we are finding the sum. Now, here's the deal. Some people are trying to underline and circle when there are parentheses. You can't do that. You've got to drop it down, okay? So for the first one, I don't need to keep those parentheses there. So I just got rid of them. Next up, we like it when there's a plus there because that gives us permission to keep everything on the inside of those parentheses exactly the same. We don't like having double signs out of positive and negative. Who always wins? Positive. Negative. The negative always wins. So I'm just going to get rid of that plus sign. Now all I'm going to do is underline and circle the like terms. How many of you would say your board looks just like this? Okay. Now let's combine those like terms. Negative 2y and negative 3y. What is that? Negative 5y. Same sign. Add and keep. Add the numbers keep the sign. If yours doesn't look like this, erase it and fix it. And then we know 9 plus 1 is 10. Go ahead and show me your corrected work. Okay, I saw a couple different answers. It's like a 50-50 in our class. Okay, so let's talk about the first one. Do I need the parentheses on the first one? No. no. So I'm going to drop them down. Am I allowed to just drop down the second set of parentheses? Yeah. No. Remember, when there is a negative here, we cannot just drop it down. Why? Because I need to distribute that negative to everything else. A lot of times we've taken it like this, and we've multiplied that negative 1 to everything in there. If I did it that way, negative 1 times 9x is negative 9x. Negative 1 times positive 8 is negative 8. How many of you would say you did it that way? How many of you would say you did it the other way? Okay, so the other way, which you will end up with the same thing. Let's look at how we do this. For this one, we've talked about we don't like to have that negative right there. So I give you permission to change it to a what? Positive. A positive. But what has to happen to everything on the inside? Turn to, uh, what does the 9x become? Negative 9x. Negative 9x. What does the positive 8 become? Negative negative 8. Out of a positive and a negative right here, who wins? Negative. The negative wins. Now, if you look at this, it looks exactly like that. We just did it two separate ways, okay? So now, no matter which way you did it, you need to underline and circle. Notice I am underlining and circling the same exact numbers. How many of you would say your problem looked like one of those? Okay. When I combine this, same sign, add and keep. Add the numbers, keep the sign. So what would that be? Negative 12x. I had quite a few people who told me positive 12x because they looked at it and said, oh, there's two negatives, so I'm going to make it a positive. That's only when you're multiplying. Okay, And then we've got this right here, 4 minus 8, negative 4. How many of you would say you got that same exact answer? If you did not, I want you to erase it and fix it. Everyone show me your corrected work. Okay, first things first. Do I need the parentheses around the first set of things? No. 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 So I drop it down 2.5y minus 7. 
Because of the negative here, what do we say we can change it to? Positive. A positive, but only if I change everything on the inside. So what does 1.4y become? Negative 1.4y. And what does plus 3 become? Negative 3. How many of you would say this is what yours looked like? Okay. Now we are underlining and circling. This is the y family. This is the constant family. Okay. Let's combine the y family first. Guys, what's 2.5y minus 1.4y? 1.1y. 1.1y. Very good. And then the last thing that I need to combine is the negative 7 and the negative 3. What does that equal? Negative 10. Negative 10. Same sign, add and keep. Add the numbers, keep the sign. Okay, so for this problem, it says simplify the expression using the distributive property. Remember, distributive property is when you have a number on the outside and you have to multiply it by everything that you see on the inside. Guys, what's 4 times 3m? 12m. What is 4 times negative n? Negative 4n. Can I combine those two? No. No, because they are not like terms. Okay, for this next problem, I saw you guys work it out a couple different ways, and I am okay with you doing it either way. Some people went ahead and looked at this and said, oh, this number's on the outside, so I am going to multiply it by everything on the inside. How many of you would say you did it that way? Okay, if you did it that way, you get 15m minus 6 plus 9m. Then once again, we just have to make sure that we are underlining and circling. 15m plus 9m would be 24m minus 6. Now, this is the way I saw some other people doing it, which is also correct. This is the way that I kind of taught you to do it. You want to combine these things inside of the parentheses first. So if I were to combine those things inside the parentheses first, guys, what is 5m plus 3m? 8m, and then I just bring down that minus 2. How many of you would say you did it this way? Okay, now I only have to distribute that 3 to two things. So I would get 24m minus 6. Notice you have the same answer here, which makes us happy, okay? So I don't care either way that you do it. Okay, so the next one says to solve the two-step equation. We're not going to get rid of that multiply by 2 yet, okay? Remember, we talked about them being best friends. They like to stick together because it's attached to the variable. So instead, I'll get rid of the minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. 2c equals 14. Here's what happened. A lot of you just said, I'm done. What's wrong with that? My whole goal is to get the variable by itself, okay? So it's still not by itself until I get rid of the multiply by 2, and I have to divide by 2 on both sides. If you did that, you should have got C equals 7. Go ahead and show me your boards to make sure your work is corrected. Okay, so once again, we're not going to touch that 3 that's attached to the variable yet. We'll get rid of plus 7 by subtracting 7. Here's where I saw a few mistakes. Can you guys tell me what's wrong with what I've just done? Same sign, add and keep. Add the numbers and keep the sign. Okay, so this should be a negative 15. Then you would divide it by 3, making the answer m equals negative 5. Now remember, it's a good idea always to... Go back and check your work. 3m plus 7 equals negative 8. Instead of that m, I can plug in that we figured out, hey, it's negative 5. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 plus 7. Guys, what is negative 15 plus 7? It is negative 8, so it checks out, which shows you that that was the correct answer. Okay, so for this one, we're solving the equation. How do I get rid of divide by 5? Multiply by, five. Multiply by 5 on both sides. A lot of people told me the answer was 10. But guys, when you have a negative multiplied by a positive, if there's an odd number of negatives, the answer is going to stay negative. negative. Okay? Here's what I want you to see, too. If you were to have gone back to the original problem and checked it, x over 5 equals negative 2. For those of you who plugged in or thought the answer was 10, 
Does 10 divided by 5 equal negative 2? Yes or no? Yeah. No. So then you would see that couldn't have been the answer because it should have been, as she said, negative 10 divided by 5 equals negative 2. So always go back and double check it to see if your answer makes sense or not. Okay, for this last one, we're finding um, the difference here, 5x plus 7. We do not like that negative right there, so we're going to change that to a positive. positive. So what do I have to change this to? Positive. A positive. Okay, I could put another positive 2x, but it's really unnecessary to have two of them, so I can get rid of one of them. But what do I have to change that negative to? Positive. That's where I saw some people forgot to change that to a positive. If that was you, erase it and fix it for me, please. All right, we're going to underline and circle the like terms, and we end up with 7x plus 11. All right, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Remember, tomorrow we do have our test over chapters 1 through 4, so make sure you study for that.